welcome to a brand new lesson. We're checking out Claro's bags. This is an awesome sign. This was a request that was dropped down in the comment section of one of the other Claro lessons that I did, so I will be fulfilling it. If you haven't seen those other lessons, definitely give those a check out. And I just want to welcome anybody who's maybe coming across my channel for the first time. I want to personally welcome you to the Hat Clan fam. We got an awesome little channel uh, community growing over here. You should definitely subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. But enough of that. Let's zoom in on the fretboard and break it down. All right, all right. This is a super awesome song. We're only dealing with three chords here that just cycle throughout the entire progression. And then we have this little lead line up here. So let's break it down so we can get you covering it right away. Ta a couple tone settings here I want to talk real quick. A little bit of reverb and just uh, that reverb is about 12 o'clock. So it's about you know straight up and down on the clock. There is a little bit of flange around the uh, original recording. So if you hear that, you can hear this. Uh, I'm not adding habit in the intro, but this is something that you could add to it. It's kind of cool, but you don't need it. Let's talk about the chords here. So we're dealing pretty much in the key of F sharp. F sharp major. Now if you listen to the original recording, you can kind of hear Claros playing these like power chords. But you know, if you hear it, sometimes there's the major in there, sometimes it's not. But I'm going to play it as power chords and then I'll talk about the major and minor as well. So basically the chords that we're going to have is an F sharp major chord to a B flat minor chord to an A flat major chord. I should keep it all in flats or sharps. Okay, so we're talking G flat chord, B flat minor chord, A flat chord. We're going to have two bars on the G flat F sharp chord, we're going to have a bar on the B flat chord and a bar on the A flat chord. So it's going to sound like this. these like you know these downstroke kind of muted palms this is palm muting technique if you're never really familiar with this what you basically do is you take this fleshy part of your hand and lay it over the bridge like this and you kind of mute those strings so you get that muted tone If you listen to the original recording, kind of in the verses, there's this palm muted with the power chords, and then when it comes to the chorus part, then you start to hear the full major chord. So same exact rhythm uh, and same exact chords, but now playing the full chord, so the major and the minor versions of it. So that way you can really hear whether it's major or minor. So let's just call out the parts as it was if it's original song. So verse. kind of regard now. Now I also want to play the flanger here because again you can kind of get more of the original recording effects. If you don't have the flanger that's okay you don't you don't need it but no, I am kind of hearing a little bit of subtle flanger on the original recording. And again you can play these chords in every single way just remember that you have a G flat to a B flat minor Let's uh, talk about the little lead lines here real quick. This is a super, super cool little lead idea. So this kind of happens over the chorus, and it happens four times, and then the very last time, there's a little bit of a change. So once you kind of get the, the main idea of the, the lead idea down, then it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, but let's kind of uh, go for a close-up here, and I'll zoom in a little bit better so you can check it out. What I'm doing is I'm pulling this all out of the F-sharp major. Mm -hmm. upper extension of the pentatonic scale. You don't have to worry about that if uh, you're not sure what that means, but I'll teach you the lick just the same way. But just know that's kind of where these notes are coming out of bass out of this position here. 
Now what I'm doing here is I'm gonna be up on the 18th fret of the high E, and I'm gonna do this little walk down. So I'm gonna go 18, 16 on the high E, and then I'm gonna jump over the B string and go 18, 19 with my third and fourth, fourth fingers, so I have this. And then I'm gonna jump down to the 16 on the B, go 18 on the B. So that's kind of like phrase idea number one. So. Now, I'm gonna jump back to the 15th fret on the G, and then I'm gonna do stretch, stretch, use my pinky, and grab the 19th fret on the high, or on the B. So all up to that point. Now this next part, I'm gonna go 17 on the G, 18 on the G, and then 18 on the B. And that's gonna be that whole phrase all together. So real nice and slow. Now that's gonna happen exactly three times. And then on the fourth time, we're gonna have a little bit of a variation and it's just a little minute detail. So let me play this and then we'll talk about the little difference here. One more time. Now on the last time when we go through this, So what I'm doing here differently is I'm going to the 18th fret on the D and then 18th fret on the B. So you're going to have to do a, a string jump here. So beforehand you were doing 18 and 18 on the G and B, now it's going to be 18 and 18 but now on the D. So all together now, uh, and let me play it with the backing track so that you can uh, kind of get it in your ear here. So let me loop this real quick. So let me play this through real quick. Jump it. So that's the little the little difference tag at the end there. So just kind of keep that in mind and. Also, I don't know if any of my viewers know this, but normally I do a transcription of this and I do it out in Word. And uh, if you ever want that transcription, you can always email me through my website and then I will be more than happy to send that to you so that you see uh, the chord diagrams and whatnot. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. All right, all right, that was a lesson. I hope you really dig it. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And again, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you never miss one of my uploads. I upload every single week. And I'll see you in the next video. Rock and roll, baby.